Good afternoon, I'm Malcolm Jordan and this is your Midday News Fix for Tuesday the 2nd of April. Prime Minister Chris Luxon's released a 36-point checklist to be completed by June 30. It includes delivering tax relief, reintroducing three-strike sentencing and creating a plan around school attendance. News Talk ZB political editor Jason Walls says the list is a bit light on details around the economy. A lot of it is just a little bit wishy-washy, but wishy-washy it has to be. We can't really know a lot about what they plan to do until we get to the budget period. Meanwhile, Auckland businesses are downbeat with the economy still in a slump. The latest Auckland Business Chamber snapshot of businesses shows just over half have a negative business confidence. Two-thirds anticipate a continuation or decline in performance over the next year. CEO Simon Bridges says it's the worst survey he's seen since taking over. The reasons, I think, in the end are you know, a bunch of C's, cost, compliance, lack of confidence. There's a sense from business that their consumers, their clients are opening their wallets. More students are being stood down and suspended than ever before. Education Ministry data shows there were around 22,000 stand downs last year, up from 18,600 in 2022 and more than 16,000 in 2019, pre pandemic. There were 3,124 suspensions, that's up from 2,400 in 2022 and just below 3,000 in 2019. Secondary Principals Association President Vaughan Quio says it's about behaviour. Those students that were significantly disrupted through COVID whilst they were either entering or in intermediate school seem to have um, some behaviours that they are lacking. China's growing dairy industry is expected to cause unease amongst exporters. It's on track to become the world's third largest milk producing country. Lincoln University Honorary Professor of Agri-Food Systems Keith Woodford says our industry will be watching the situation. Fonterra and other companies will be pretty conscious that when you've got one country, which is so important to us, you always have to be a bit cautious. If things did go wrong there, it would be disastrous. However, Woodford says China predicts a 25% increase in dairy imports over the next 10 years. Scottish author J.K. Rowling is criticising Scotland's new hate crime laws. From today, stirring up hatred relating to age, disability, religion and sexual and gender identity can be punishable with a maximum penalty of seven years prison. Similar laws apply in England and Wales, but Scotland has gone further. The Harry Potter author has sparked controversy online for her comments about transgender people. UK correspondent Inda Brady says Rowling has challenged lawmakers on social media to arrest her. She's named a load of trans women and she's ended it all basically saying men, all of them, men. That's what she's written. To sport. Long-time all-black scrum guru Mike Cron has been confirmed as an assistant to new Wallabies mentor Joe Schmidt, a former all-blacks assistant himself. Paul Cole's love affair with London has continued. The Kiwi squash player has clinched the PSA's London Classic, previously held at Canary Wharf, for the fourth time, beating Egypt's Mustafa Asal after his opponent withdrew in the fourth game with injury. And Trent Bolt has taken three wickets to help launch his Rajasthan Royals to a six-wicket win over the Mumbai Indians in the Indian Premier League. I'm Malcolm Jordan, that's your latest news fix. We'll be back with the next update at 5pm from the News Talk ZB Newsroom.